The same engineer who has made headlines regarding problems concerning the 777 and 787 has reaffirmed his stance following the latest comments in an interview aired on NBC Nightly News. The whistleblower stated that he would not allow his family to fly the 787 due to concerns about the current product that is being put out as well as concerns that these planes are susceptible to falling out of the sky. Quite the claim there. Additionally, he called for production to cease on the 787 notably, so that checks could be made on the affected aircraft, and a fix would be, according to him, implemented to correct what had been going wrong. In his initial revelations that were published around last week, the engineer said that over a thousand 787s were affected by the problems he highlighted. He also indicated that the Boeing 777s were affected by their own production problems, with up to 400 for the popular widebody. Lawyers have openly supported the claims as they would. However, more importantly, these lawyers have said that the allegations are based on data that is present, and half a dozen further whistleblowers have reported the same production issues. Whether, however, these production issues are related to the exact identified problems was not something that was publicly disclosed. We know that there has been a lot of focus on production practices with in Boeing across, say, the last five to six years, but not all of them are aligning to the exact same set of circumstances that this whistleblower has identified. Boeing, meanwhile, on several occasions have denied these allegations that have been put in its direction, stating the 787 is very much a safe aircraft, and executives have worked tirelessly to ensure that the program is one of the safest out there. But now, as aviation geeks, we do love to travel but have you ever been stuck at those annoying SIM card booths? After, say, 26 hours of travel, you're likely to be scammed, and don't worry, I've been there too. Sailey is a new eSIM service brought to you by none other than Nord Security. With this affordable eSIM that works in over 150 countries, you will always be connected and be able to do so in a stress-free manner. With Sailey, you simply buy a plan, install the eSIM, and activate the plan. Yes, it is just that easy. Not only does this provide you with an added layer of security, but it saves you the hassle of queuing, facing potential scams, and additional fees that are not mentioned when you buy the physical SIM at your country of destination. And most of all, I'd argue that eSIMs give you the peace of mind that you'll be connected while traveling problem-free. And as someone who does travel, I believe Sailey's eSIM is a true lifesaver. I encourage you to check them out and support the channel by clicking the link in the description or going to sailey.com forward slash DJ's Aviation. That is sailey.com forward slash DJ's Aviation. And remember, it's as simple as buy, download, activate. Back to the video topic at hand, the Federal Aviation Administration, speaking on the comments made by the whistleblower a week ago, said that they would investigate the matter to really understand whether these allegations have any true weight behind them. This is them doing their due diligence. However, onlookers on both sides certainly struggle to believe if it's all for a headline or if it is actually true. Maybe Boeing is being truthful or potentially lying too. 689 of around the 1,787 units that were slated to be impacted have actually already been tested, with zero signs of fatigue. Now, this contradicts the whistleblower's initial claims. New comments from the whistleblower leaned on the extreme, with the apparent concern that if something wasn't done, the aircraft could fall out of the skies if the problems worsen. Boeing denies these claims, and analysts go on to argue that even if there were cracks, they would have been identified and fixed promptly. Boeing prides itself on a structural integrity of its aircraft that is strong and robust, and it also says that it's simply too strong to see problems such as what is described simply make a plane fall out of the sky. The whistleblower's allegations are placed on an under-pressure Boeing as well, which we know is hurting and facing investigations alongside safety hearings following the door blowout incident that occurred in the first week of this year aboard an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX. 
it can certainly be perceived as the optimal time for allegations to come out against Boeing, and that's why there's been such difficulty believing any comments that arise, whether it is on Boeing's side of things, which we know has been proven time and time again to spread misinformation, or on the side of a whistleblower, who at this stage is simply alleging specific information that the manufacturer denies. What we do know is Boeing has problems, very deep-rooted ones, that the FAA is currently investigating with all those involved trying to work towards a better future, where the fortunes can truly be turned around. This will not be an overnight process, but you'd argue that now is the best time to continue piling on allegations, as there are certainly many of them. And there are many reasons why you may look to do that. One, well, if there's weight behind them, you know that now, of all the times, they will be investigated. But two, if there's not weight behind it, it is a time where any slight mention of something going wrong with Boeing will send the industry, but more so the general media and public, spiralling. And that is something we have certainly seen in the last few weeks. If you've got any thoughts on the topic at hand, you're more than welcome to drop it down below in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out Saley's e sim deal down below in the pinned comment or description. And we'll fly.